Before we hop into trials, I'm going to show you guys a double fusion build. And thanks to this build, I was able to get a 60 defeat game. And not only that, guys, you can get like 40 plus, 50 plus games easily with this setup. You guys know I'm not a big fan of sixes because, you know, I usually play like either elimination, mostly rumble when there's no trials around. But thanks to this build right here, I actually started playing sixes more and more and more because it's just really, really fun. So this is the build that I'm talking about. And guys, keep in mind, this is going to be the first time that you can actually have a fusion rifle in the kinetic slot that is legendary. Obviously, we've had Bastion before, but that's an exotic. And you really don't want to give up your exotic slot for Bastion when you have some crazy fusion rifles that are legendary in the game. But those were usually in the energy slot. And now, thanks to Deliverance, we can have this badass combination right here with Vex, Mythoclast, and Deliverance. I have the video about this fusion rifle. I'm going to drop the link to that video in the description. But this is the role right here. Deliverance with Perpetual Motion Enhanced and Tap the Trigger Enhanced. And then we're combining it, as mentioned, with Vex and Mythoclast. Now, Vex did get like a nerf. A so-called nerf, guys. But trust me, it, it almost doesn't feel like any kind of nerf at all. Yes, there was some aim assist or whatever that nerf was. But if you can aim, this is still going to be one of the most badass weapons in the game when it comes to auto rifles. But at the same time, it classifies as a fusion rifle, which is what makes this build absolutely insane. There's a few things you want to run with this build in order to get those high defeat games every time. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean here in a second. But one of the biggest reasons this combination here is powerful is that because you have Vex Mythoclast, right? Which is pretty much close to mid-range. Even in close range, as mentioned, you can utilize this. But mid-range, this thing absolutely shreds. Then you have Deliverance that is absolutely amazing at close range. And once you do get three kills with the Vex Mythoclast, then you pretty much also have a linear fusion rifle. So you're running three weapons at the same time, which is just crazy, but you only have two equipped. It is, it is ridiculous how much fun this overall build is. Now, what makes this build really, really good and takes it to the next level is this mod right here which is quick charge and i don't think a lot of people utilize this with this specific build and in general quick charge is really good you don't have to necessarily be using let's say mythoclast but if you're running a shotgun or a fusion it's already really really good let's take a look become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with fusion rifles or shotguns so guys what this does is you're going to be getting charged with light when you kill enemies with mythoclast or your fusion or the combination of both and if you're running these mods right here which is going to be taking charge and high energy fire you're going to have increased damage with both of these weapons and trust me once you're running this overall build this is going to happen very very often so not only are you shredding people with the mythoclast but now your deliverance has also become much more consistent because it's simply doing more damage so that one mod really changes the game of this overall build and you'll be amazed at at how many defeats you'll be getting per game in order to activate this mod you can you need to have another seasonal mod equipped that also has to be arc now i'm using powerful friends but you can use radiant light or pretty much whatever you want and then the extra perk on this activates which is also really really cool greatly increases the ready speed of fusion rifles shotguns submachine guns and swords as i said i don't really enjoy sixes that much but now that i have this build I play a lot of sixes. I'm not going to lie because it's just absolutely ridiculous. You run around like an animal and shred everyone and everything. Now, for all the rest of the mods, you pretty much slap on everything that you need in order to make your overall build better, such as fusion rifle mods, reloaders, whatever it is. I love PvP, but this build has made it just so much more fun for me. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're playing on the Titan and if you have max intellect like I do right here, that means that you're going to have your bubble really, really fast, which is another way, guys, to have more damage on your weapons. Once again, easier to get those kills. And then you can sometimes even combine it with high energy fire and taking charge, especially if you're running powerful friends or radiant light. Every time you drop a super and if some of your teammates have the same mods, you will be charged with light instantly. So there's some crazy damage buffs happening with this overall build and you you're going to be running around like a madman. Another thing that I forgot to mention is if you have the catalyst guys, 
for Mythic Blast, it makes it even deadlier because now you have a damage buff from this, you have a damage buff from taking charge in high energy fire, then the bubble and all of that. And on top, you have this quick charge mod, which charges you very, very, very often every game. For the heavy guys, you can slap on whatever you want. Honestly, I use tomorrow's answer most of the time. Another great option is Reed's Regret with Adagio. The reason is you get that first kill and after that you get body shot kills, which is very, very strong. Gotta say, you take a lot of flinch with this one, but then again, Adagio is so strong that it's absolutely worth it, especially in sixes. This is very, very powerful. It's also crazy how people think about these sandboxes. I have a feeling that all people do is like read the patch notes. They see oh, Mythic Last was nerfed. And they're like, yeah, it's trash. And then nobody simply even gives it a chance after that. They're like, yeah, it's nerfed now. Why would I use it? When in reality, the weapon still feels absolutely amazing. I personally don't even feel the nerf. It still shreds. The range is still there. And the only thing that was pretty much the real nerf was that now you need three kills instead of two to get that linear going, which in my humble opinion was very, very needed. So this build right here is something you should 100% look into. The double fusion rifle combination is what makes all of this absolutely insane and worth your time.